This is the Night Wolf howling at you, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Legends of Dragonor Karem, brave mystical warrior figure from FOMO Toys. Karem, brave mystical warrior, homeworld, Alba and Ah. Special abilities, travel between dimensions, see into the heart of others. Kind of makes it sound like he does the same thing as the uh, mystic well that everybody's looking for. Weapon of choice, the Staff of Light. Of the many magical beings observed, the Jinn of Light is one of the most ancient and mysterious. Karem claims to herald from Alban Anach, but his name cannot be located within any ancient text detailing the countless worlds and dimensions. It is probable that this information predates existence itself or has simply been lost within the sands of time. Yet Karem is playful and caring, whilst also being stubborn and temperamental. Karem's relationship with his Staff of Light remains unclear, as does the true scope of his powers. We know his third eye can lead the way between dimensions, but it can also see into the heart of those he encounters. This staff in the picture looks a lot like a, a, a lamp, a, a Aladdin's lamp on a stick. Sounds like that should be a meal. Hello, would you like to have, try Aladdin's lamp on a stick? It's our special of the day. That came off pretty easy. He also here comes with a soft goods cape. Uh, not as nice as the furry one that came with uh, our, our villainous magician, but still nice. We will pop out Aladdin's lamp on a stick. <laughs> I wonder if he can fit in there himself. Now we will get the figure out. It was at this point that a lot of crazy noise was going on all around me. I soldiered on, but did a poorer job than normal. This is the part where you comment, No, Nightwolf, you don't do a poor job. I have since recorded the second half of the video and um, maybe went a little off the rails towards the end. Please laugh and enjoy. So it occurred to me that since I had time, I could re-record part of the Karem uh, video here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that so I can give you something a little bit more worthwhile than the slipshot version I did when there was all sorts of traffic noises and construction and people around and talking and anyway so here we have Karem uh, he does have the look of a Dijin or a genie is it got the clear body which we'll see the same sort of thing with uh, Yolanda in wave 1.1 except for I believe she's just clear clear um, Articulation-wise, he has the same as the other figures. His head spins all around 360. His arms do a 360. And since we've learned that the wrists also do the joint movement, we have a 360 here. Waist all around. Leg kicks up about yay far. And back about yay far. And, of course, the boot cut swirls around. Um, he does share parts with Obviously, the thighs are pretty much the same as all the characters, male ones, aside from the mystic arm, divine armor, sorry. He's got the same vest here as our friend Oscuro. Basically, he shares the most parts with Oscuro directly. Uh, he's got the uh, wannabe hoodie. He's got the same boots. And as pretty much, again, aside from the armor, the same crotch piece. Um, he does have biceps though, rather than, um, sleeves. His weapon is a magic lamp on a stick. Um, 
It sounds like some new food that you would get at a certain theme park where they did a movie dealing with uh, the, uh, one of the tales from 1001 Arabian Nights. And he holds it just fine. I think where they kind of missed out on this one is I think it would have looked better if they had done it in gold. But I guess maybe they were thinking we had already had too many gold accessories with uh, Barbero and y Yandara. Yandara? Although it would have made all the, quote, heroic side have the same color weapon. That would have been kind of cool. He also does come with a soft goods cape, which will fit around his neck like so. Um, I do like, and I don't know if I'll be able to get a good look at this. Because of the way the plastic is molded, it almost kind of looks like you can see a skull under there, even though it's just the little plastic tabby part. Um, no, we'll take his legs off. I'm not sure if his head will come off very easily right now. Oh, or maybe it will. They're still using clear parts, though, for the, um, the sockets. They are still using clear parts for the sockets, at least on the head. Which, it's not a bad sculpt. It's hard to really see what's going on, though, because it's clear. I mean, you can see his earrings are painted and his eyes are painted. And he's got the little, um, not quite a soul patch. It's a little bit bigger than one, but, you know. I don't know what you call that little bitty beard there. And, of course, he's got a crown as part of his turban. Uh, looks like, actually, the turban and crown do look like they are a separate piece from the clear head. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> and now we have a character from One Piece. Sorry. Um, I mean, actually, if he is like a mystical genie type, he could do that. I don't know. Are the. Oh dear. We can do all sorts of weird stuff with these figures if we want. We gotta check. Is the hand the same? Oh, man. Oh, crap. Well, that's, uh, bad. Okay, the hand will fit on there, too. Can we move a boot over there, too? You know, the mystic armor, the legs. I mean, he's a Dijin, right? So, you know, he can shape change. I may go to hell for this sort of stuff, but, you know, whatever. Oh, shit. I suspect I may actually have to glue that one in place. Ta-da! Now we have made an abomination. <laughs> Oh, man. So. <laughs> scooby dooby doo Ah, uh, sorry. So anyway, with that, um, we got the last piece of the divine armor, which was the other leg. Um, obviously, I've cut that out because of the video. Or maybe I can take part of that and just put it in here showing me pulling it out. We do get the last piece of our mystic armor. Or divine armor. So we can finish off that set. And see how difficult it is to put that in place. <clears throat> I should have had a glass of hot water here. Ah! 
Got it. And now we have completed the Mystic Armor. Um, I think what I'll do though is I'll do a separate video just going over the armor by itself. Now that's all together. So anyway. This is a little bit ridiculously fun. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. I guess the hands work better because they're smaller. I can get you down there. Anyway, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and love.